Lastly, I'd like to briefly discuss an important quality check we should perform related to our shaker inputs. As we already stated, in a proper MIMO modal test setup, all the shaker input forces need to be uncorrelated. Additionally, the responses need to be completely caused by the measured input forces. Unfortunately, there's a function available in SimCenter Test Lab to perform this important quality check on our test setup. It's called Principal Component Analysis, or the acronym is PCA. Principal Component Analysis determines how many uncorrelated signals there are and if there are other unknown forces acting on the system. To enable this function, we simply need to go back to our MIMO FRF Setup tab. Then we'll go to the Online Data Function area, and we'll go all the way to the end to PCA. And we're going to select PCA on references and one response. And here we want to go measure and save. And this option will allow us to determine the degree of decorrelation between our two shaker inputs and if there are any other unknown forces acting on the system. And you'll notice once you turn on this option, you now have the ability to choose which of your response channels you will use in the PCA calculation. We're going to use input one. Now we'll just go back to our MIMO FRF measurement tab. And we're going to take another measurement with this function turned on. And after we do our 40 averages, we're going to look at the principal component analysis results. So we'll arm our system. Hit start. Here we are 40 averages later. And we can actually look at the results of our principal component analysis right here on the MIMO FRF measurement tab. We'll simply go to responses. Instead of FRF, we'll select PCA. So what do we have here? We have a display for principal component number one, a, pr a display for principal component number two, and a display for principal component number three. Now what would we expect to see from our principal component analysis? Well, we know we have two shakers, both with independent uncorrelated sources and no other forces acting on our system. When we look at the principal component analysis results, when we see higher values for the principal component, that represents the independent source. So we have two independent sources, and when we look at principal component number three, we see that the values are very low in comparison. So that helps us see that there are no other outside forces acting on the system. Now that we've verified that our setup is good using principal component analysis, let me show you an example of how principal component analysis can help us determine if we have a problem with the shaker. I'm going to disconnect one of the sources from our front end to one of our shakers. And we're going to rerun our test and review the principal component analysis afterwards. So we'll arm again. And we'll start. And we're going to measure 40 averages. Well, looking at these FRF results, right away you can see these aren't the cleanest FRFs we could possibly have. And maybe you can convince yourself they're not that bad. I don't think you can convince me of that. Uh, maybe you would even think that you just have a leakage issue. But in reality, it's a totally different problem, right? What happens when we look at the PCA? So what would we expect to see with our current setup? We know we disconnected the source to one of the shakers. However, we know the other shaker is still working. And we will measure force as well as acceleration at both point one and point two. However, that will all be to force from one shaker. And that's exactly what we see here in our PCA. We only have one principal component with high values in comparison to the others. Principal component two and three are all very low. So this is how you can use principal component analysis to verify that all your shakers are working in your MIMO modal test. Finally, I'd like to demonstrate how we can use PCA, Principal Component Analysis, to identify unknown sources in our test setup. Now we've reconnected the shaker, so both are working now. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a measurement and at the same time, I'm going to use this pointer here to tap on our plate. This will be our unknown source. And let's see what our PCA shows us after the measurement. So we'll arm. And hit start. Okay, so I stopped tapping a little bit early. Didn't want to do that for 40 averages. Nonetheless, I think we can see the result already in our PCA. When we look at our principal component analysis, we see not just one and two sources as we would expect, one from our each of our shakers, but we also see a third principal component. You might recall this was so low that you couldn't even see the values previously. But because now I was with my tapping adding an uh, unmeasured source, PCA helps us to determine that we have an unmeasured source in our setup that we need to account for.